My name is Ayana Standenberg, and I will be doing a poem called Royal Roots. And if you like this poem, I'm selling wristbands and buttons, two for three, one for three, two for five, and five for ten. Royal Roots. They told me my history began as slavery, but I know that's not true. I began to learn my history, and I realized I had royal roots. I could read. I picked up some books, and I found proof. And what I discovered was more magical than poop. It amazed me, and I'm sure it will be the same thing for you. First, I read about Mali and its king, Mansa Musa, and how he was the world's most wealthiest ruler. Then I picked up another book about the leader, Shaka Zulu, whose story is to be told on Netflix and Hulu. Then I wanted to find the history of a person who looked like me. And I discovered Hatshepsut, a woman who was king. She ruled one of the greatest dynasties that the world has ever seen. And for that, she will be forever special to me. Then my daddy named his first dog, Amotep. I asked him once and I said, who in the world is that? He said, Imhotep was the world's first multi-genius. He's responsible for the step human that's still studying in Egypt. This is not the knock the contributions on my people or their bravery. But we got to stop telling the lie that my history began slavery, and we were forced to work long days and nights with chains and shackles, slave for the master, and left out that for thousands of years, my people will live in amazing castles, but before me and you. So when they said, my history began slavery, I know that's not true. I can read. I picked up some books and I found proof. And what I discovered was more magical than proof. Because we have royalty in our bloodline because we have royal roots. Woo!